Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Simple Twist of Fate by Bob Dylan. First thing you need to know is we're tuned, or he's tuned, uh, to a D chord. So it's open D tuning. So your sixth string should be a D, an A, uh, a D, an F sharp, an A, and then a D. So D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Okay? Ends up sounding like a huge D chord. So that's the tuning that he's in, and then He's got to aggravate us some more by sticking a capo on the second fret. So trying to figure that out way back in the day. <laughs> Good luck, right? So, our shapes end up being quite different. Um, okay, so when I talk about the frets, I'm talking about the distance from the capo, okay? So your D chord ends up being 3rd uh, string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 5th fret. And everybody else is open. I'm going to do two strum patterns on that, and uh, you can do any number of strum patterns you want. I'm just going to do like a down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay, then I'm going to go to a D major 7. So I'm going to take my ring finger and put it where my middle finger is, and then hold down the 5th string 4th fret. So it's the 3rd string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 4th fret, 5th string, 4th fret. D major 7. Same strum pattern. Now I'm going to grab the fifth string third fret. So I'm just going to twist these two around. So it's third string third fret, fourth string fourth fret, and then the fifth string third fret. And that's a D7 chord. So all I've really done, a good way to remember it once you get that first shape, is I got the fifth string fifth fret, then the fifth string fourth fret, and then the fifth string third fret. And that's the first three changes. Does the same chord pattern progression for the whole song. The D7. Now we're going to go to a G chord. Uh, I guess it would be G slash B technically. Uh, let's see. Uh, fifth string, second fret. Third string, first fret. And then the second string, second fret. I'm going to uh, mute the sixth string as best I can. Same strum pattern. Uh, that's my G with G slash B. Now I'm going to do a G minor chord. Okay, same strum pattern. So this is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Fourth string, fifth fret, third string, fourth fret, second string, fifth fret. You can let the, um, the uh, first string ring open if you like. And uh, that's really all, it's going to be, this one's a little tougher because I'm going to kind of play this finger on an angle to mute that fifth string. My thumb will probably get rid of that six. I'm going to try and just make my strum a little smaller anyway. So that's my G minor chord. Uh, let's see what comes next. Now you have, um, here's where the strum pattern changes a little bit and our chords change. Uh, our D chord this time, we're just going to grab the 5th string, 5th fret, and then the 4th string, 4th uh, fret. And that's our D chord for a moment. And we're going to change it. We're going to go... So that's all we do. We... What do we call on these chords? I'm going to call this a D. It's just a different way of playing the D. And then a D major 9, because I'm adding the 9th to it. Uh, when I go back to this chord is the 4th string 4th fret, 5th string 4th, no, 4th string 2nd fret, 5th string 4th fret. So that's a bit tricky, so it's just down, down, up on the D chord, and then down, down, up, okay, on those two chords. So each chord gets down, down, up. That's where the strum pattern changes. 
okay? You may say, why can't I just do my other D chord? It's like, well, it sounds like he's doing that as a moving line, so, okay? Then you're back to the G chord, and what he does here is um, he's going to lift up the second string and make it open halfway through the strum. So your strum is the long strum just one time, like that, down, down, up, let go of the string, up, down, up. That's how he gets that uh, fancy sound, so it's like, okay, so this is the hard part. back to a regular D chord and you just give me one pattern on that one then we're going to go to what are we calling this uh, a9 sus4 uh, fourth string second fret third string first fret second string second fret and I'm going to mute the sixth string and I'm going to do the same thing I did on that G chord I'm going to go down down up lift up again so it's the same sort of move so, down, down, up, up, down, up. So just lift up that ring finger off that second string for the second half of the strum. Then you're back to the D chord. And you just give me two strums on that. And then that takes you to the end of the progression. You stay on the D. This is the beginning. D major 7. D7. G slash B. Different D chord, D major 9 to the G, open, and then a D, and then that A9 sus4, open, and then back to D. Really hard to let, yell all that out. Let me play it through one more time again, just the way it is. Uh, hopefully, there's, hopefully that was easy enough. Uh, I'm, uh, we'll probably put the chords online or something like that. You can look at them. So. All right, ready? Simple Twist of Fate. Great. Another great song from, I don't know, 75, I think. Anyway, play more guitar. Any questions, comments down below, and uh, thanks for watching.